My name is Neil Smith. I'm an investigative researcher. I train a lot of uh, police officers and journalists um, on using the internet as an investigative tool. And I run a website, uh, it's all the W's dot UK hyphen OSINT dot net. And that's full of um, useful links and things like that for um, both investigators and journalists. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you're investigating, whether it's um, people for some somewhat fraud or paedophiles or terrorists, or whether you're investigating uh, councillors or businessmen to uh, re report on in a journalistic world, you're looking for information that you can explain to somebody else. So those are the links that I provide for people, and those that's the information that I do. So when you're looking for information on people, um, sometimes don't concentrate just on that individual. Think about people, the, one, the, the, one, the individual that you're looking at, they may not put information about themselves online, but if they've got um, children, if they've got a partner, if they've got parents, it may be that they put more information about themselves online. So even though people will have elderly parents, don't forget when the government run computer courses, quite often for pensioners, they're free. So people will be invited into a college and they'll give loads of information, they'll sign up for Friends Reunited, they'll sign up to Facebook, things like that, put loads of information not just about themselves but about their children. So you can find out about individuals, if you were going to research me, if you looked for my father, you'd find an awful lot of information that my, my dad put on Friends Reunited 10 years ago when he did a free course that, uh, that would explain all about what I do, what my brother does, about my children. So although the information is slightly out of date, it will still give you indications of where I am and, and who I live with, things like that. So don't just concentrate on looking for the individual, look for the people that are closest to them. So when I start looking for an individual, the first thing that I look at is some of the genealogy sites. So the birth, deaths and marriage is something like um, findmypast.com or ancestry.co.uk or ancestry.com. Does that person exist? Have you got the correct details? Uh, the name that they use um, is that their actual name is it their birth name find find who they are then find where they were born you can find their brothers and sisters quite easily by doing a, a, a search with their details linking it through to um, mother's maiden name and then also search for their, who they're married to and search for their children if, if you can find half a dozen people that somebody is linked to one of them is going to put loads of information online. So it might not be your individual, but one of them, whether their parents, their partner, their children. And by finding those social networking accounts that they use, you're going to find photographs that they've uploaded, you're going to find details about holidays, um, details of properties they own. And then you'll be able to assess their lifestyle to what their income should be. So again, fraud indicators, um, say somebody uh, works for a local council, you should have a rough idea what their pay grade is from their, from their job. So is their lifestyle um, right for that pay grade? Do they, do they, are they having a very big expensive extension built? Um, are they going on expensive holidays? And all of these sort of things you can find on the social networking accounts. So they may try and hide the details about themselves, but their wife is going to be putting details online about her brand spanking new kitchen, or the kids will be talking about the four weeks they've just had in Florida. You can, you can work out the costs of these things and look, does their income support the lifestyle they have? So it's not always looking for the individual, look for the people closest to them because those are the people that aren't involved in criminality who are freer to talk about things. So they will talk about things that will give clues to us rather than the person who we're actually looking at who's trying to hide that information. So don't just always concentrate on your individual, especially if they've got a very popular name like Smith. Sometimes you want to look for the people they're closest to. Um, my Facebook account may be hidden so you can't search for me, but my kids aren't going to be hidden, my friends aren't going to be hidden, my friends aren't going to have privacy settings as, as secure as mine, because they don't really have a concept of security. So if you wanted to find out all about my wife, for instance, everything about her is online, yet she's never put anything about herself online. First of all, the government sold all the birth, deaths and marriage details, then our kids were encouraged to put things online when they were at school being taught about the internet. So if you want to know about my wife, 
birth, deaths and marriages, so something like Find My Past would tell you about her. Then there is half a dozen websites, uh, including a blog, where basically everything that she does is is listed. She's never put anything online, but everything is is there for you to find. And it will be exactly the same for anybody you look look for. Very rarely nowadays that you live in a bubble without the internet touching your life one way or another.